let's talk about the histology of the lip we are having upper lip and the lower lip these two lips they are fleshy mucocutaneous flaps uh, that form the boundary of the oral orifice and each lip it is covered externally by the hairy skin that is a dry hairy skin and internally by the uh, muco mu mucous membrane so in between the skin and the mucous membrane there is a transitional zone and we call it as the mucocutaneous junction that is the transition of the keratinized epithelium that is the keratinized epidermis of the skin to the non keratinized epithelium of the labial mucosa so uh, this junction between the skin and the oral mucosa we call it as the mucocutaneous junction or the zone that is the transition zone so from where this transition zone starts we call it as the vermilion line or the red line that is present in both the lips that is the upper lip and in the lower lip in this picture you can see this is the outer surface and this is the inner surface that is the outer hairy skin and uh, this outer hairy skin it consists of the keratinized epithelium so you can see this dark area this is the epidermis and in the epidermis we are having uh, uh, you can see this is a hair follicle and all the features of the skin are seen over here so in the dermis you can see we are having the sebaceous glands are there uh, this is the rectal pili muscle and along with the sweat glands and all the features of the skin are seen and then here you can see the transition zone starts and as the transition zone starts the uh, epithelium of the skin that is epidermis and the dermis it is there is a, a gradual transition so this uh, gradual transition we are seeing and as we reach the labial surface or the labial epithelium this becomes very thin and it is uh, uh, intended by d vascular papillae of the lamella propria and deep to it we are having in the submucosa if you see we are having uh, large glands that is these are the mucus secreting labial glands and deep to it that is a deep musculature it is formed by the orbicularis oris muscle so what are the different points to be remembered for the identification of the slide of the lip that is in the longitudinal section the substance you can see it is formed by the mass of the muscle and uh, each lip it is having external surface covered by skin and the internal surface covered by the mucous membrane and there is a transition zone between the skin and the mucous membrane known as the vermilion border